So let's say I'm given a graph, y equals f of x, and I'm told three points on this curve. I've got the two stationary points, minus 4, 8, and 5, 2, and I know where it crosses the y-axis. And what I want to do now is that, although I don't know the equation of the curve, I am being asked to sketch y equals f of a half x. So we need to know what type of transformation that is. Now that is a stretch x direction factor 2, if you haven't already guessed. So that must mean that if it's the x direction factor 2, a stretch, then it pulls the graph outwards so that all of the x coordinates of the curve double. So in sketching this, I'll draw my y axis very well. No, no, bit improved. So in sketching this, it really should have a little bit of a noticeable, so it should have a noticeable stretch in the curve. Something like that, okay? Now, it's very important that you identify the three points that have been identified on the original curve. So, that point on the y-axis, 6, well, that was point zero 06. And because it's only the x-coordinates that have been altered, that is still 6. 5, 2 will have been stretched out to 10, 2. So the x-coordinate has doubled. And likewise, the x-coordinate of this stationary point will also have doubled. So we have minus 8, 8. Okay? And that is a sketch of the curve y equals f of a half x. In our second example, sketch y equals minus f of x, we need to identify what type of transformation that is. Now the minus sign is on the outside of the function. So, first of all, although that doesn't identify as a reflection, but you should identify this as a reflection, and we need to determine, is it in the y-axis or is it in the x-axis? Now, if you divide through by minus 1, we would have minus y equals f of x. So it's the y that is changing sign. So if I had a coordinate, like um, 3, 7, then my new coordinate would be 3, minus 7. So it must be a reflection in the x-axis. So drawing my x-axis, I need to reflect this curve in the x-axis. So it would probably look something like that. So I would now have these three points that must be identified, the six, will now be at minus 6. This stationary point, 5, 2, will now be at 5, minus 2. And this stationary point that was at minus 4, 8, will now be at minus 4, minus 8. And that is how we can sketch these curves. Make sure that when you sketch your curves, you identify the coordinates of any points that were on the original curve, where they have mapped to.